everyone. It's lovely to see a number of you uh, who have already joined the session. Uh, this session is a, uh, a session that we are just going to go through the different um, uh, working criteria that we have come up with uh, in the pilot program for the coteries. And this is because we have been listening um, through the different forums uh, that the coteries may not have been working as we expected. And therefore we developed a, a pioneer program where we will be just piloting a few changes uh, to get uh, feedback from yourselves and to see how that has worked. And then from there, we are going to ensure that uh, we also roll it out to the wider team and it could run better. My name is Jackie Ogonji. I am a member of the membership team. Uh, largely, this is the uh, a committee that looks at the different activities around the memberships and different programs. So our role is to ensure that uh, we actually are maintaining certain professional levels that you expect uh, within any uh, group like what we have in Women's on Boards. We also are responsible to ensure that we develop new programs. Uh, we make sure that the programs that are there are better. Uh, we also look uh, for other uh, strategic partners that we could work with to ensure that uh, we are able to attract more potential members and to give you value as being a member. So we have been uh, working on uh, this coterie program, which is one of the things that we offer to members. And one of the things that we realized is we are not so engaged as it was anticipated. And therefore we opted um, to see how we could make it better. And that is why we sent out communication to allow you to choose which coterie you'd want to participate in. And then this is a pilot program that is only closed to the members who registered. It will run um, for a given period. My two colleagues will be giving you more, more feedback in terms of the expectations of the program, how it will run, the do's and the don'ts. And then you can, we can give you an opportunity to ask questions around this. So we hope that we are going to engage you. Um, you can use the chat to type in some questions that you may have. And um, as we go along, we'll also allow you to ask some questions at the end of this. So we are looking forward to an engaging session. Uh, please remember that uh, this is purely um, coteries have supported different individuals to grow um, uh, as part of their personal um, development plans. There are those ones who may also have had uh, rocks in their lives in terms of maybe certain things that you would want to uh, work around. So these coteries have been piloted to ensure that they help you um, go through either developing yourself or maybe there are certain milestones that you want to undertake to get to the next level or maybe there are certain fears or there are certain blocks that are in blocking you from getting to where you want to go. And so we hope that uh, the pilot is going to try and fill in some of the gaps that you have been looking at and once these gaps are actually filled in, you can come back and give us feedback and we can see how to make this program better. So I'd like to welcome you all and uh, now welcome uh, Rose, who's also a member of uh, the Membership and Programs Committee to take you through the next stage. Rose, are you here? Yes, I am. Thank you, Jackie, our Vice Chair. Um, we've, I think you've done a great job around you know, bringing all this together. I note that we did not recognize the presence of our chair, uh, Catherine. So Karibu Sana and welcome all as well to, to this um, session. So Women on Boards, um, you know, seeks to support uh, its members, you know, to grow their skills and competencies um, in the process of developing their capabilities to join boards and in some cases even lead boards. And so some of our objectives as you know, we have walked through this journey is really around helping the members, you know, set um, mutual goals, um, taking part in personal development and coteries, you know, as we will be discussing is one of them. Um, establishing accountability for some of the goals that we set as individuals. And I've had the pleasure of sitting um, and engaging with some of the ladies who've run successful coteries within Women on Boards. And they've held each other accountable, you know, within that space. Some have even gone ahead and formed chamas, 
others have formed travel clubs. And so it's, it's been great stories to hear how these small groups have been able to um, grow people both individually and as a group as well. The other objective is really around creating a culture of collaboration where we can all come together, uh, bringing the diverse skills that we have onto the table and learning from each other so that then we can be able to grow either through business and career-wise as well. It's really all about continuous personal development. And I'm glad that um, Women on Boards is currently running the program around board profiling. And I've had the pleasure to sit in um, and you know, listen to the facilitators guiding us through how do you set a good profile so that then um, you, know, you stand out from the crowd? So thank you Women on Boards for giving us the platform to be able to engage and also bring our space out there so that then we can take on these board positions. Um, next slide, Kenta. So what is the current situation today? And I know Jackie alluded to it. Um, so about six years ago, you know, the Quateris program was set up, um, you know, members were assigned to those um, and we've had mixed reaction. Uh, some have been successful, some haven't quite taken off as well as they should. And so when we met as uh, the membership committee, we asked ourselves, you know, what is it about the quarteries that people are struggling with? How do we make them um, more robust? How do we then be, um, create an opportunity where people can be able to engage in areas where they are passionate about? And so this is how this program was born. And we'll be shortly taking you through what our thoughts were, you know, within that. And you know, giving you an opportunity for us for you to give us feedback as well. So a little bit about what the new program seeks to do. The old program will continue. So those who continue to um, remain within the existing coteries, um, you know, those will continue. But for those that are seeking to join this pilot program, um, what is going to happen is, you know, we are going to we have developed certain thematic areas. Um, which we'll be sharing. And I think you had the opportunity to be able to sign up to those areas. Um, those groups will then be able to appoint um, a chair, or we're calling them here stewards, who will then um, chaperone the group through the next six months. And at the end of this session, we have assigned you to virtual rooms where you will then be able to pick a chair based on the preferences that you set up when we um, went out and advertised for the different thematic areas. And the whole idea really is for yourselves to be able to set clear goals around how you intend to operate, um, have the regular meetings um, you know, as a group, whether they will be virtual or physical, we would leave that to you. Um, but of importance as well is for you to then be able to report on a monthly basis on how well you know, the program is going um, any challenges, because then that provides us an opportunity to be able to continue to enhance the program and make it better. So it's going to run for six months. Uh, and after six months, then we will review um, and see whether, you know, it has worked and perhaps then be able to get into the next cohort, which should um, probably be sometime next year and run it, um, you know, again. It doesn't mean that for those um, who want to continue serving in their current coteries that you know we are stopping that. We're saying, please continue. But this is a pilot program for us to be able to then be able to draw data and align with some of the interests that you have. So some of the activities um, that you know, we'll be looking to um, get into you know, is around the book club, hiking, walks. And I think Kentai, if we can just share um, that list. Yeah, and I think um, it's on the screen. So we went out and did the survey. And um, you know, each of you then was able to pick um, the quartery or the theme, thematic area that you wanted to engage in. As, as you can see, we have quite a number, 12 people you know, within the book club. So they will decide what books they want to read, um, how they want to engage, and what type of discussions they want to have around those books. Um, we didn't have too much around walks, koroga, coffee dates. Uh, you can see we have six in hiking, um, wine tasting, happy hour, ladies night, we have another five. Nothing on the painting party. You never know, it could come up in the next, um, in the next cohort. Joining a sports league, you know, whether it's football or netball or you know, whatever sport that is, we have four people. it be interesting to hear a little bit more uh, what sport you know, they want to engage in. 
um, volunteering for a service project, uh, you know, whether it's children's homes or planting trees uh, or even going out uh, for career discussions. I think we will leave that to you. You can see quite a significant number of people interested within that space. Health and fitness is another one that, uh, you know, was able to gather quite a few people. Um, so whether it's going to be Zumba classes or attending the gym or, uh, you know, doing a bit of Karura forest walks, hikes, you know, we leave that to you. Um, a few others, um, you know, having engaged talks and fire pit um, sort of discussions. Um, nobody for crossword puzzles and board games. That was a bit of a surprise. Um, creativity around YouTube videos, um, interior design, and of course, public speaking, as you can see, 21. So this is good feedback for us, you know, in areas that, you know, even as we have those board talks, these are some of the topics that perhaps, uh, you know, having you attended the survey, we should be able to pick up and see how best we can be able to project that. What are the rules of engagement around the coteries for the next six months on this pilot program? So you can only join one coterie. Um, Kantai, uh, you know, will be as a program member in, in each of them just to check in and ensure that um, everything is going on okay and perhaps address any challenges that you may have. Um, it will only be open to those who are interested and have signed up. And I'm glad that ladies, um, you know, you took up the challenge. So we're really looking forward to engaging with you on this. Um, once you join, Imelda, if you could please mute, thank you. So once you join a new quarterly, uh, you'll be excused from the current one. It doesn't mean that um, your current quarterly will stop. I think it will continue. But for the next six months, we will excuse you from your current one so that then you can focus on this and, and bring your whole self um, to this new program. And then after six months, um, the membership committee will review the various reports. Uh, we will also take in the feedback that you'd have given us so that then we can be able to continue to enhance the program and make it better. Ladies, it's really about uh, bringing us together. It's really about uh, ensuring that um, you know, we recognize that other than having or wanting to join boards, you probably have other personal goals as well that you'd want to be able to pursue. So we want to um, create that balance that you can be able to collaborate with people who share similar interests with yourselves. And as Jackie said earlier on, that perhaps you know, it could be that you want to challenge yourself to do certain things. I know that uh, I've struggled to read a book every month. It's a goal that I set in January. I've really struggled to do it. So the book club then provides an opportunity for me to be able to read, uh, to be able to be held accountable and to be able to enhance my, my knowledge in the process, you know, engaging and collaborating uh, you know, with some of you. So we're really looking forward to this and I'm really glad that we've taken up this challenge and we look forward to working with you. So thank you very much, uh, Kantai or Jackie, um, over to you. So thank you so much, Rose, uh, for taking us through what is expected of us, how this program will run. Um, also just giving us some more information based on data. I think one of the things that I appreciate uh, my colleagues in this committee was that we wanted to be a little more factual so we respected that it's, it's, it's important for us to collect data. And once we have this data, then we can be able to make some informed decisions. So as you can see, there are some coteries that have many uh, participants, which we, we, we will allow you people to meet and discuss how you want to run them. There are others that have fewer people. Again, at the end of six months, we'd like to hear um, what, how was it? a coterie that had more people and a coterie that had less people, there will be challenges, but the bottom line is that we are able to then achieve the goals for this coterie. Uh, Madeline, are you here? Can I, do I have Madeline online? Yes, she's present. All right, thank you. So Madeline Njoroge is also a member of this committee and uh, we just want her to take us through the tracker overview so that you are also able to see this. Um, Madeline, can you kindly proceed? Good evening all, uh, welcome chair, welcome. Thank you, Jackie and Rose for the presentation and welcome uh, our members. My name is Madeline Jorogi, I'm a member of the partnership and membership uh, committee. And as Jackie and Rose uh, indicated, we developed this program just to 
enable the team members and the rest of the members to be able to get a feel of uh, each other in terms of interaction and uh, synergies. From previous quarteries, uh, the, there were about 90, but uh, the reason why we set up this as they indicated is just to encourage members to meet in a place where, or have activities which are bring synergies together. So I'll take you through what we are looking at, uh, the presentation report, which will be presented to all the members. And uh, I'll take you through the summary and uh, the sections, there are three sections. So the idea, it's a tracker that will help us observe audits it, or to audit the observations and actions required and recommendations. It's in three sections, uh, personal branding, uh, self-positioning, and personal development. The sections are aligned to our uh, quarteries rules and regulations, the, what we are calling quarteries peer uh, accountability guidelines. So the first for personal branding is aligned to progressing personal growth, leadership, governance, business growth, and mentorship. Rose alluded that past uh, quarteries brought people together, they had chamas and they also grew within each other. They helped each other grow, helped each other get boards and other external activities. So we are still going with the same uh, motion and just a different uh, angle to it. The second uh, section, which will, so each section will be addressed by the team members when once you the quarteries and the team steward would lead the teams. So this first month between now when we launch until the in August, we will look at personal branding. So in personal branding, the objective is um, to define personal branding, your authenticity, your uh, reputation, image, and value. And in the, uh, can I please open 1.0? So to guide you through that, we have written three questions on personal branding. So you can be able to ask yourself, who am I or who are you? So you'll have a conversation with your respective team members. What do your colleagues say about you when they meet you at work or when you're meeting in a social engagement? What do they know about Jackie or Rose? What do they say? To, what do they say about her when she's not there? Because that's what personal branding is. What people say about you when you're not there. And the third question is, what do your people in your business or organization know you for? So what are your skills? What are your competencies? These three questions will help open up our minds to looking at yourself internally, because when you are working towards a board uh, appointment, you need to have a brand yourself. Who are you? What are you there for? What are you trying to achieve? So this will be conversations that you'll have with the respective team members. And you will see in the report, you will put in your findings and the actions that each team member will, will work towards. And in case you want the quarterly committee to make comments, we will make comments or any addition that you'd want us to improve as Jackie alluded. If there is need for more improvement on this pilot, please let us one personal branding. Uh, could we go back to the summary instructions? Thank you. So the second one, which will be a three month period is we will be looking at our self positioning. This is more towards your clarity of purpose. Who are you? What's your purpose in life? And mastering your craft. What are you good at marketing, uh, uh, custom engineering, or whatever it is that you do? Networking and personal branding still comes in. So this is you having conversations with your team members and looking at yourself and saying, what is my skill? When I want to be appointed in a board, what skill do will I bring on board? And also, secondly, which is most important, in self-positioning, you need to network. You need to talk to people who also understand your craft or in the boards that you would want to represent or you want to get into. You need to do networking. So this uh, quarter is, helps us open up to other people in the same industry or different industry who will also give us information and help us grow our skills so that we can join the respective forms. Boards. Uh, Kantai, yeah, too. Thank you. 
So in self-positioning, the three questions we ask ourselves are, what is my next career or business move? You may be in one already, and maybe because uh, our careers are in stages, depending on our age level, and there are about five stages. So you may be wondering, or there is this uh, need that you've been feeling a calling telling you you need to move or you need to change, or you're in a current career and you're wondering, you're bored. Every day you go to work and you're wondering, okay, I can do this with my eyes closed. So maybe it's time to start thinking of your next move, or you have a business and you want to expand. What is the next move? So in your, with your teams, you can discuss this. Maybe you will open up to someone who will help you go through that uh, change or coach you through the, the change. The second question you'd ask us, you'd be asking is where do I want to get to? So as you're going through the change, where do you want to go to? And then you will be having conversations on people guiding you on what they did, how you can do it. So you will not be doing this alone. Many a times from experience, you, you need to change your career. You, there's a need to move but you don't know who to talk to and how to get guidance unless you get a mentor or you get a coaching or you have somebody who's uh, a sponsor but they're not there every day but you see with these potteries you have numbers and you have people who are close to you and you share similar activities so you can pick up the phone and have a conversation with them you don't necessarily have to meet wait for the time that you'll meet and then the last question what is missing and who do i need to contact connect with to achieve this goal. So when we ask ourselves these questions, it helps us as we go towards a board appointment, your positioning. So which board do you want to go to? How do you want to position yourself? When Agnes sends an email and asks this, this company that needs somebody for this board, are you positioned well enough to be able to give out your resume or your CV? So that's the second part. The last one, no development, and uh, Rose alluded to this. So even coming on board, so it's, we are developing ourselves. We want to be better versions of ourselves, and we want to share the skills and competencies that our creator gave us. So how do we develop ourselves and also develop others, even in our mentoring that a number of us are already carrying out. So in personal development, you're looking at your career or your business strategy. You're looking at uh, writing skills, which are critical if you're joining a board or even in your current uh, organization. Emotional intelligence, which is very key, especially in conversations in boards, because you're not only with women, you're both with women and men from different age groups. So emotional intelligence is critical. Interview skills, well, because now you want to be appointed in a board. So how do you get interviewed? The last time some, some maybe, I can't say myself, but maybe the last time you went for an interview was a couple of years ago, double digit, and you need to refresh yourself. And then, of course, not forgetting networking. So these are the competencies we are a few competencies we're looking at personal development when we're addressing this uh, aspect, the last aspect that we'll do. So, um, thank you. So in personal development, what questions do we ask yourself? So what is working and what is not working? So you're asking yourself and your team members are helping you uh, find a way what, when you say well, something is not working, why isn't it working? So it's more a question, it's an individual growth, but somebody else is helping you to ask these questions and to answer the questions. And if your answer is what, uh, what is not working, so what are the areas of personal development going forward? What do you need to develop? Because you know yourself better and you can have this conversation and listen to other people's experiences. And the last questions you would be asking is what career resilient skills do you have and which ones do you need to work on? So basically this uh, program is for everyone, not only the team steward. So the team steward is the one who will be presenting it to the committee. So this uh, tracking report will be used by the team steward to guide the team members as they have conversations in your different uh, activities in the book club, in the sewing or in the mentoring club. 
as you go and interact wherever you interact you this will be a guide to help in your development towards uh, personal growth personal uh, positioning or personal branding and the feedback we are waiting or would expect is to see whether this pottery is going to work and how if not what do we need to do to improve it the thematic activities are are critical because they will help people come together because from experience when i joined uh, women's on board in 2015 i went for the corporate governance training and we set up a whatsapp group but and we had conversations for two three months after that then it died out because there wasn't something that was holding us together to continue unlike other co uh, team members who were able to get together and continue engaging because they had similar activities or they had similar goals. So this is based on the activities that you do every day that you love, which you're passionate about. You like gymming, you like boot clubs, you, like, uh, you also like uh, visiting people, mentorship, depending on the thematics that we picked. So this is supposed to help us, encourage us to create synergies that will go over and beyond the six months and also will help us grow individually towards the board appointments. And also we will learn from each other and have mentors in, in these groups who will also help us grow together. Um, the last part is overall rating. I don't think we, we will, I think it's best we will have this conversation later with the team steward Kantai. I don't want to overload everyone with a lot of information, but basically this is just to give an overall uh, evaluation of the whole program. Do you think it was outstanding? Did it exceed your expectations? Did it meet your expectations or do we need to develop further to make it better for all of you? And there's a place for comments. I think that is all I have. Um, in case of any questions, let, let us know. Thank you all. All right, thank you very much, Madeline. Uh, much appreciated. And allow me to appreciate a lot of effort that has been put together by all the members of this committee just to think through this and come up with some tools that we could use. Um, also try, just trying to make sure that things um, change. We appreciate each and every one of you for taking that lead in choosing either one of the coteries or you have joined this session so that you are able to get more clarity on what we want to get out of the coteries. So for us, um, we are looking at holding you accountable. Uh, one, uh, because we expect that uh, you are joining this because there's a goal that you want to achieve. So through this uh, cottery pilot program, uh, we are requesting that you commit take leadership of your own um, goal that you wanted to achieve and that drive that made you choose that coterie and commit and action. And that is leadership. That is leadership because when you make a decision, when you draw a goal, when you have a vision, you're actually supposed to commit to it and make sure that you accomplish. We also want to let you know that completion is only counted at 100%, 99% is incomplete. And that is why we are helping you to come up with ways to discover yourself, discover others, discover different things, get that awareness, and then from there, explore so that you, you can be able to build onto something. It may be something you have chosen just to start up. It's maybe something new, it may be something that is continuous. So we are saying when you engage, into this program, 99% you will not have achieved. So if there are those meetings, please attend. If there are certain things that you people have agreed to undertake, please do them. There are forms that Madeline has taken time to take us through as the tracker, and then at the end of it, this feedback, please participate. Make sure that your participation, your engagement, your involvement is in line with the six months because the program is time bound. Then um, once we are done with that, of course, we will then take feedback from yourselves and see how then can we roll and cascade this to the wider team, which is more than 300 members. So we appreciate the members who are going to pioneer this and start. We would want to ensure 
that uh, we support you uh, ourselves in the in the in the committee as well as the members who are in the secretariat we just want to make sure that we support you but we want to tell you that uh, we want you involved we want to hold you accountable the program is time bound so we want you to explore experience and enjoy um, this six month session in your program so with that allow me to request you to participate in a brainstorming session where you can ask us questions or you can give us any feedback, clarifications. Um, uh, you can also share some insights in terms of how to make this better. And I can see um, definitely our leaders are here, Kirote, I can see you here. Uh, Catherine, thank you so much for also joining us and keeping us on track, you're around. Uh, maybe we also allow you people to share some thoughts as we take through the different questions. Thank you. Jackie. Yes, Nkirote. Even as we wait uh, for some questions, I just want to wish uh, everyone on the call a very good evening and to uh, also congratulate uh, the committee for the work you have put into this. Um, and just um, particularly for taking the feedback and also recognizing that um, as we continue to move forward in our quest to serve and to add value um, in the governance landscape, whether on boards or, or anywhere else, um, uh, being a whole person is so important because that's what allows you to bring your whole self and to be authentic and committed in your service. And so this is a great step and I, um, I congratulate everyone who has uh, put me to signing up for Pottery so that um, I can also be part of this and also grow and develop. So congratulations once again and wishing the feedback and um, a, a big shout out to my chair, Catherine, too, as we go forward. Thank you, Jackie. And thank, thank you, Nkirote. Thank you. Chair, would you want to say something and bless the program as well? Yes, indeed, indeed I do. Uh, first and foremost, allow me to just say good evening, everybody, and so happy to have you on this call. Um, what it says is that you're actually taking your development, your personal development into your hands. And I want to thank you for taking that step. Um, Jackie, Madeline, your committee, I cannot thank you enough for being so selfless, uh, Rose and everybody else for being so selfless and thinking about how we can better improve um, the services that we give our members, how together we can grow, how together we can hold each other's hands. I just want to say one thing again, I mean, uh, I have never said this before, but, but members of the Board of Women on Boards Network and members of the committees um, serve without pay. So they are doing this out of, you know, the deep love they have for you guys. And so I would hope that uh, each and every one of us will take advantage of their labor of love because this is indeed a labor of love. Just uh, taking their own time to sit together, conceptualize programs, so on and so forth, which are so, so impactful and useful. Uh, we do not take it for granted. Thank you. Um, uh, you guys have, have, have made us proud, really, really proud of you. And I know that uh, this program is going to uh, bear fruit. So yes, I join Kirote in congratulating you and wishing everybody who jumps onto this program the very best. Enjoy. There is nothing like, um, you know, too, too much work and no play. So please make sure that you uh, play as well because uh, fun is part of life and, and learning cannot happen without fun. So thank you and God bless. Thank you very much, Chair. Rose, um, so there are some people who want to be part of the public speaking team. One of the excellent people to learn some of these skills from is Rose. Rose Sang, I'd like to allow you to answer some of the questions and also leaders 
on the section of question and answer. Maybe just briefly go through the answers. I can see you've been very active on the chat so that the rest of the members who maybe have got gadgets um, that they are using that they cannot maybe see the chats. I'm sure some are on the road or some are in the kitchen or maybe some are doing something else but multitasking what we all do in this new time and new era. So if you do us some justice and uh, give us a summary of what people are asking on the chat and also the feedback that we've been able to give them, I think that will help. The rest of us, do we have a button to put our hands up? No. So um, give, give us a comment or uh, after Rose is done, just admit yourself and ask your question. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Jackie. Um, thank you, Kirote and Catherine as well for blessing this program. Um, we have a few questions from the ladies. I think we've been able to respond to some of them, but I'll just highlight them. Uh, Rhoda, I think you've mentioned that, uh, you know, we could combine some of the thematic areas such as puzzle and board games. Thank you for that feedback. Um, and we have taken note. We shall do that. Um, Caro wants to play a little bit. And she says, you know, given that she has already picked a theme can she on some occasions, you know, participate in uh, other themes, for example, you know, dance club or mentorship? And uh, our view is that, uh, yes, it is possible. However, we would like to maintain um, the cohorts for the six months so that then you're able to grow uh, personally and professionally. Uh, we also want to be able to hold you accountable, uh, you know, for your cohort, but it doesn't mean that informally, you know, if you hear of the dance club uh, somewhere, that you, know, you should not be able to pop in. Um, so you will maintain your coterie as uh, you know, indicated in your registration, but no harm really uh, you know, attending some of the others to be able to um, get a bit of fun and, and grow fitter in the process. Um, we have also posted um, the various thematic areas. I think there are a couple of people um, on the call who have not been able to choose. So please uh, put, um, your thematic area on the chat and Kantai and I will pick that up and be able to assign you um, accordingly. Um, any others? I think it's really the others are mostly um, just compliments. Uh, you know, Christine Sabwa, you say you're really looking forward to your topical area. Um, so yes, so do join. I know Christine, you have a passion for DJing. So next time we will be able to have that thematic area available for those of us who wanna uh, spin um, you know, Are you serious that. about that? Yes, I am very serious. Christine is an excellent DJ. Oh my <laughs> word! Yes, chair. I have another life. So why? <laughs> so why have we been suffering, Rose? I know <laughs> at, at our functions. <laughs> so, Christine, we are looking forward to your sagging jeans and you know your chains. You know, the next time we we have an event. Um, I think the others, uh, Jackie, are really just, you know, compliments. Um, for those that haven't signed up, please put uh, your names on the chat. And as I mentioned, Kantai and I will pick that up and ensure that we place you. Thank you, Jerry. You want to join the volunteering um, thematic area, so we will assign that. Janet, you said you want to join the book club. So yes, we will assign you to those. So Jackie, um, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Rose. Um, Kantai, is there a way we could open the form again and just send, because I can see a lot of members would want to uh, sign up and they have also joined this session. So uh, to make your life easier, can we open up the form? Kantai, is it, is it yes. easier to, all right. So Kantai confirms, we will resend the form and then you can choose the coterie that you want to join. Um, you will be put together in those coteries, and uh, as Rose had advised, you will select your leaders and you will start uh, your sessions. We will keep dropping by to check what is happening and see how we can support. Um, and maybe, just maybe, just maybe, we may think of rewarding a coterie that we feel has completely done what they needed to do at 100%. Remember, 99% is not complete. So we are challenging you. If all of you do, that's fine. There's always a way to appreciate and reward effort. And uh, the, most in, the most important thing for us is the experience that you will have. So I think uh, for us, we just wanted to give you a brief to launch this. Um, 
let you know what you need to do, get feedback from yourself, which we um, appreciate that you have given us. We are not seeing any further questions, but we will allow somebody who wants to say something, at least um, um, maybe someone who wants to say something before the, you, we take you to the breakout rooms, which you have been divided according to the various teams that you are in. Please share the different coterie leaders' contacts. So the coteries don't have leaders yet. Uh, Kantai, am I correct to give this information that you have been allocated already um, into different uh, groups? So we are ready to allow you join those groups. Kantai, is that correct? Yes. The breakout yes. rooms, they are they according are to the coteries. Yes. Now you can then choose who your leaders are in those coteries or you can agree and uh, maybe take contacts, uh, create a WhatsApp group, and then later you will then uh, decide on your leadership. I think that is better because the time will give you is short. How much time are they taking at the breakout rooms, can't I? Uh, just 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so we will give you about 10 minutes. So kindly manage your time wisely. Then we will come back and close the program. So in your breakout rooms, get to know who's in your coterie, number one. Number two, um, get a formula that you can uh, put together your either telephone numbers or telephone numbers is much faster. Create your WhatsApp group there and then close on that. You will continue with communications after that to enable you agree on when you will choose your leaders uh, and when you will get started. So Kantai, let us uh, go now to the breakout rooms. So we'll see you in 10 minutes.